found our target. We're gonna chase this LaFerrari, get some shots of it, and hopefully not feel... Oh. Come on. Oh my God, what are you doing? No. Oh my God, somebody's going left. Fucker. Lobby. Away we go. Downstairs, there is a straight pipe tuned McLaren 600 LT in the shape of, well, no, the McLaren is in the shape of a 600 LT, but Parker's gonna be driving it. It's time to go old school car spotting. Look at this beauty. This is a bit special. It's not the worst. This looks so good, man. Right, let me jump in. I try not to rip my trousers. Bro, this guy, like, was following me. It was really creepy. Oh, what, this Tesla? Yeah, he like wanted to race on the highway and then I was like, oh, that's weird. He's getting off at the same exit. And I was like, wow, that's really <laughs> weird that he's going into the hotel, <laughs> the same hotel. Now we specifically tried to meet up before we lost light. Yeah. It's a little bit dark. It's pretty dark. It's cloudy. That's why. So we- The good news is the flames are pretty sick at nighttime on this Ooh, car. Oh yeah. So talk to me about this because it's not just straight pipe, it's tuned as well, right? Yeah, so it's got full catalyst down pipes um, and then it's tuned by M Engineering, which is a company that's set pretty much every single McLaren world record for quarter miles. Wow. So it makes, uh, on MS109, which is a race fuel, it makes 740 to the wheels, which is like 910 <laughs> crank horsepower. Which is brake horsepower, right? That's, yeah. Yeah. So. 900 brake. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> I was expecting it to be like you know seven hundred. No, maybe no, maybe. Okay, no, it's a lot is, more. This is an absolute monster. Yeah. Have you had to change your tires to get the power down? Uh, no. Okay. No. But it's. It, but I mean, you can't floor it in first gear, obviously. <laughs> but. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, this is going to be a pretty awesome car to hunt down some supercars. I think so. And think based on the amount of time, I haven't spent that long walking around Beverly Hills. I mean, it looks like it on camera, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not that long. I would have liked to have spent more time. Um, I've seen some pretty wild stuff. Yeah. Any day of the week, it seems. Yeah. I also want to point the camera back at us because I've got a directional mic, meaning that it will hopefully pick the sound up more. I know people are going to want to watch out the front of the McLaren to see where we're going. Gotcha. But I want to capture the sound, so. Well, we can do a bit of both. Yeah, we'll try and do a bit of both. <laughs> I found the times that I walked around that just rolling the camera stuff appeared. So I'm just going to keep recording yes, for now. Go. That is oh, nice. Oh, yes. Do you know what? In the UK, there is none of them. It's like Mercedes sold none. And here. You just drove one, didn't you? In that yeah, same car? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I called it like. The Mercedes that everyone forgot about, kind of thing, because in the kind UK, of is, yeah. like no one knows about it, no one, it kind of gets overlooked. Yeah, yeah. I've seen at least 60. There's a decent amount here. <laughs> yeah. For sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Zooming into the Star Wars billboard. Got a beautiful 812. Cool stripe on it. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, that is nice. To me, that's a classy way of cruising. That around. is, yeah. I think they look really good. I do too. More shots of the Roma from the hind. I haven't driven one of these, but I would really like to. I quite like the way they look. I love the way they look. 
we found our target. We're gonna chase this LaFerrari, get some shots of it, and hopefully not feel... Oh. Come on. Oh my God, what are you doing? No. Oh my God, somebody's going left. Fucker. This guy fucked us. It's up there, if we can stay in the left lane. Yeah, baby! Oh, there we go. Oh my God. Uh, how am I gonna get photos of this? Is he going? Oh my God, this LaFerrari. That is spectacular. That is unreal. You definitely don't see LaFerraris often, but you particularly don't see black LaFerraris often. Oh yeah. for dinner now. Yes, yes, yeah. back up into me, please. <laughs> <laughs> please hit me. <laughs> just, just floor it. Yeah. <laughs> doing there? I don't, are you filming? <laughs> <laughs> this is the life of a, oh, is a isn't supercar ownership awesome? <laughs> is it oh, oh. <laughs> I've never done that before. <laughs> awesome. You just make me so nervous. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> We have just smashed dinner. That was very good. That was good. But I feel like every supercar owner was also smashing dinner because we didn't see any supercars. We positioned ourselves perfectly on the side of the road. I mean, we weren't actually eating dinner on the side of the road. There was a table and chairs yeah, We there. basically were. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel, I feel like now that we're back at the car and whilst everyone is still eating dinner, I want to have a look at the 600 LT because we've heard it, we've experienced it. Let's have a look then. It is so rare to see a 600 LT with a roof scoop. I know, I am thankful for that. It's made up a little bit for the fact that it's just depreciated off the face of the planet. <laughs> 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 but I do like the, the roof scoop. It, you don't it, see too many with it. And it kind of sets it apart from, to be so honest, a calm. little bit of a 570 look yeah. that the 600 LT has. Yeah. There is, I don't think I've seen a 600 LT with this much carbon. It is, it's got everything. It literally has everything. You've got a 1016 bonnet yep. as well. That is baller as hell. It is such a weapon. It's, it's the best been, way that I can describe it. Yeah, no, it, it really is. It's been such a fun car. It, the handling is ridiculous. Yeah. And it's just like, it's so exciting. Yeah. It's just raw and exciting. Which That's is the perfect like combination it. away from the Tesla. Obviously, the Tesla is exciting. Yeah. It's a thrill in a different way. Yeah, I was thinking about that earlier. It's like driving this uh, or driving the Tesla makes me driving the Tesla makes me appreciate the 600 LT more because, yeah. you know, it goes from that refined quiet car to an aggressive loud car. Yeah. But also driving this makes me appreciate the Tesla more because yeah. then there's certain environments where, you the know, you want to be garage. You want it to be nice and, and You relaxed. don't want a car that's too good on a daily because then the supercar doesn't feel the sports car doesn't no, feel that good a hundred percent yeah and you feel yourself like all right i've got an m5 cs let me just drive that a hundred percent of the time yeah exactly yeah you can definitely uh unbalance a two-car garage quite easily is someone trying to get out of that door there because we definitely tried me. to <laughs> <laughs> we tried to get in through this door here we got out through that door but you can't get back in it was locked it was a, it was a project yeah so um i'll let you jump in yeah, you want a cold startup? I want to hear Got it. Got the uh, nice center, center seats. I actually think that's the first time I've sat in 600 LT center seats. Obviously, they're, they're pretty comfortable in yeah, my yeah, opinion. Yeah. Yeah. They're not bad. Yeah. But yeah, I'll fire it up and uh, it'll be loud. <laughs> it might get some good turbo whistle in here, to be honest. I just think it looks awesome. I love how this thing looks. Well, thank you. 
Yeah, you were just talking about how like civilized it was in terms of its height off the ground, and I showed you wrong. <laughs> it's, it's not good. <laughs> so we were talking off camera, and it's a little bit dark now, but I feel like unless we see any more supercars, this might be the end of the video. But I was asking how you're finding McLaren ownership, right? And you were saying it's actually pretty good. It's been totally fine yeah. on, on my car. I think the 600 LTs in general have been pretty reliable. Yeah, and then, you draw it drew me to the attention of the time so the actual time is let me get my watch out it's just gone 25 past 8 although your car says it's quarter to 10 p.m. on the 8th of September or maybe the 9th of August if it's American time 1970 <laughs> <laughs> but then hey I said there were no real issues the driving experience is awesome I didn't you know, I didn't know we were talking about what decade uh, the car thinks it's in because that that it's not going out apparently. And then what was it? Where did the where? oh yeah yeah? So there's a clock. This is the real interesting thing because I don't know how to reset either of these. I I've looked a bunch. This one's 9:31 and that's 9:46. So even the car's confused what's happening. Oh, uh, it's just the best. What's this going on? It is just the best way to end the video. Um, we have seen some amazing stuff, considering this is a random midweek. Yeah. It was a real stretch and a hit and hope that we were going to see anything as remotely cool as an all black LaFerrari. Yeah, I thought maybe it'd be like, hey, Paul, we, we should just come back on the weekend, but <laughs> yeah. guess not. We've absolutely smashed it out of the park. It turns out a 900 brake horsepower 600 LT is actually a really good car to chase hypercars in because you need all of that brake horsepower to chase a car that's got over a thousand brake horsepower. So we will leave it there. If we see anything between now and the hotel, I will film it. Other than that, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Head over to Parker's channel because he filmed some more stuff on foot. Oh, look at Ooh. this. Is that a satin Matt yellow? yellow Urus. There's a Excellent. lot of them. Oh, there are a lot of them. I'll leave it there. Goodbye. Whoa.